Mount Everest ain't got shit on me. Both the European and American High Rocks Championships have taken place. Last year, if you watched my Berlin, the pros, men's pros 2022 video, which I'll stick somewhere here uh, as an icon, we touched down with Sandy and James Muscat and watched them demolish the track. And after Sandy had this to say. What's the next goal? So my next step is, is to podium at Euros. That has to be my next, so that's my next big aim. So let's see what he did. How amazing was that? First things first, I did not go to the Netherlands, unfortunately, to watch Sandy. I was able to find so many footages from the event, and what I've done is I've condensed it down and I've adapted it, and hopefully, under fair use, amended it all to fit into my style, so it's nothing like the original, so it fits from any original sources. If I find out, I'm gonna stick a comment in the description box below, but if not, then, you know, I hope it's fair use. But anyway, Sandy smashed it, 58.44, and when you watch it live, it was just amazing to watch, it was a thrill. He went out hard, he went out hot. Not too hot though, but you could see when you watch the live and you watch the full footage, you could tell he was really in his head, and at the end, hitting the bar at the wall ball, as you can tell, he got he was getting frustrated. But again, that was his whole way of going, come on, let's go. Let me feel something to get this through the line and cross that finish line. So he smashed the European Championships. He came third and podiumed. And this, I'll put somewhere here or to my right, is the top three. Uh, and again, he did what he wanted to do. Now, on to the Americans championships what i'll show is my edit of the live focused on sandy so i hope you enjoy it
watching that live was absolutely intense. I was shouting the house down. Sandy smashed it. He podiumed. He got one hour and 27 seconds. Slightly longer than his 58 minutes from the Europeans. But this is the first time the High Rocks introduced hairpins into the run section. And I personally believe that that made the course slightly longer. Especially where with the bends, if you take more of a wider uh, gap from the inside lane you're adding more lengths to your run. So I think that's what Sandy tended to do. He ten tended to stick to the outside. And as a result, he had to probably run more steps than he would have usually run if he stuck to the inside. But apart from that, I mean, he went out hard, went out hard just like the Europeans. He was looking to prove some, to himself. And I think he succeeded. He is one of the best to do it. And I can't wait for Worlds in Manchester 2023. It's going to be absolutely insane. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end it there. Sandy, you smashed it. Well done for getting onto the podium. You spoke it into existence 2022. And let's see what the future has in store. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And catch you in the next one. <laughs>